So for today, we're going to be looking at the Veritas armor for the Hunter, Titan, and Warlock. It's going to be super dope because I actually like a lot of these pieces. Obviously, there's pieces that I don't like as well. We're going to be talking about that as well. Let me know what you guys think about the armor itself. Do you guys like it? Do you guys love it? Do you guys hate it? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. Thank you all for doing so. And without further ado, let's just get right into it. So this is the Hunters. The Hunters looks pretty cool. Uh, the only thing I actually hate about this whole set, surprisingly, is the cloak. Uh, but we'll get to that when we get to that. First, first and foremost, let's uh, put on a different cloak so I can see the helmet itself. So this is the helmet. I I love it. I think it looks super cool. I'm not the biggest fan of what the fuck ever this is in the, in the eyes, but I still think it looks really cool. I think the like fabric material here looks super cool. Uh, the how it takes shaders is pretty cool as well. It's actually decent. And this the the like grill right here also does take shaders pretty well, which makes me consider like really happy considering like some some armor pieces just take shaders really terribly and this one does not. So uh, next thing is going to be the arms, which are their arms they look they look basic they look generic but they don't look terrible uh this is going to be really good for someone who's going for a minimal minimalistic armor set so think about like this one right here this with this looks actually pretty cool so i'm actually pretty excited to use these arms with other pieces uh another one just to sh throw out there would be something like this one right here this actually looks pretty decent with it as well it, it really does look like the jacket he's wearing a jacket with it um and i think the other one that pe most people would do would be this one the cardigan which doesn't look the best but it still looks better than like a lot of things uh speaking of which this is the chest piece which is pretty cool the thing i noticed was this armor plate right here is not attached to the chest piece itself so let's actually change this again to this one i guess and yeah it's actually not attached which is pretty interesting okay uh that's that's fine considering there's other uh class items for the hunter that are gonna pair really well with it like this one is something that's gonna look super it looks really cool with it uh this one also is gonna look pretty cool with it although there's a little gap here but i think that's just on my hunter uh for the legs this is probably one piece that i'm like it's not terrible it's definitely not terrible i've seen worse legs it's just that i don't know i just mm, asymmetry really does bug me but it's not as bad as i thought it would be uh overall i definitely can't see myself using this specifically with uh hold on let me take that shader off specifically with this one right here if i can find it uh was it this one i think no it's not this one this one so something to like equal it out i think would be nice but probably not this one itself something else uh, preferably f like cloth. Uh, I'm not gonna look for it now, but yeah, something actually this one maybe. Yeah, something like this would be good because it's like equals out. Because since this side has nothing, this side also has nothing, and this side has like the point thing. Uh, hopefully, I've made my point clear. And then the last but not least, the part that I actually hate the most from this whole set is the cloak itself. And it's not even like the back because I think the back is fine. It's it's the hood. It's this right here. It's the egg, the bubble, whatever you want to call it. This is terrible. I I absolutely hate it. Um, It's just way too big. It's too massive, bro. Like it looks like I have an egg on my head. And uh, that's really it. Like, honestly, everything else is super dope. It's just a the cloak is terrible absolutely terrible um yeah if it, were, if it were up to me i would have had this wire thing up here and then have the cloak a little bit smaller and i'm not even asking for like something super duper small just something like that's not like this because it looks like dude it looks like a fucking whale shark's about to eat my head as for how it takes shaders again i actually do think it takes shaders pretty decently uh the only terrible thing that people will see is that like the asymmetry is pretty hard on this specifically the legs again black and red i just like that's gonna be hard for some people uh i will most likely use these boots occasionally but i'm definitely gonna use it on pieces that like example like this where both of the both of these are the same color 
I'm definitely gonna try to lean on to something like that instead of do like this. I think this is terrible. But yeah, hunters, let me know what you guys think about it. I think it looks pretty cool aside from the cloak itself. I need even then like the he head down, I think looks cool. It's just this right here. Next up is the Titans. So here's the Titans. I honestly think the Titans might have won this just because their helmet, their let's actually let's get right into it. So helmet, I think is the coolest helmet the Titans have so far. I love it. It's super duper, super duper edgy. I don't I'm not even going to like front on you guys. This is edgy as fuck, but it's like the right amount of edgy. I think it's super cool and it's going to it's going to make really good, uh, really good sets just because again it looks so good personally i think the hunter should have got something like this just because hunter's edgy makes sense but yeah War titans i definitely don't want to hear about us being fucking edgy when you guys have shit like this so that's the helmet let me know what you guys think love it not gonna lie uh arms on the other hand i think is cool but again the asymmetry is just horrid i hate it but the cool thing is if you want to go for a like slightly armored look, this is going to be really good with that because again, you, there's a lot of fabric underneath it, but there's also a lot of armor. So for me, I'm going to definitely going to try, going to try to combine this with other sets that have like, uh, not like beefy armor. If you, if you guys understand me there for the chest piece, I actually like it surprisingly, uh, again, for people who don't know my channel, I prefer titans to have like a really beefy back i'll give you a good example right now this one right here i love it when titans have this right here this like big ass plate behind them protecting their back and their neck i feel like that makes a titan a titan this on the other hand it looks cool it definitely looks cool i'm definitely going to try to combine this with other like slight armor builds i have a bunch of those for my war my titan my titan has a lot of non-armored looks or minimalistic armor look just because i like it and for the females i lean on that a little bit more for the legs and let's actually switch out the cloak so you guys can see the legs do this one yeah. uh do this one as for the legs i actually do like them a lot as well uh just notice this here and not here that kind of <laughs> whatever um so i actually do like the legs aside from the this right here i think that's weird just put them on both sides why not uh this is going to be really good for other pieces for non-armored looks my only gripe with it is the boots look so small compared to like everything else which is my main gripe with a lot of armor pieces that the titans get uh just like the legs just look so small compared to like fucking all of this so that's like my only complaint is the legs feel or the boots feel a little small but other than that yeah it looks really good it's definitely gonna look good with non-armored looks as well uh or just like minimalistic armor as well like i said and then last but not least we have the mark which i'm gonna tell you right now i'm not the biggest fan of this mark uh it's not terrible definitely not terrible it's just not Mm, it's a little too long for my taste but yeah other than that that's pretty much it actually it's just a little too long for my taste like the longest one that i like and that's not too long but is long if that makes any sense is this one right here i think this is long but not like overtly long this one however super long it's like right at my ankles so this one would probably not be my favorite but dude I think the the helmet dope arms good uh chest piece actually super dope boots pretty good and then the marks like the only thing where i'm like it's not terrible it's definitely not terrible it's just i definitely would have to see what i combine it with because i just can't i can't combine it with like anything willy-nilly this definitely is going to be like catered to some other armor so titans let me know what you guys think in the comments below uh last but not least gonna be the warlock and then i'll give you my final thoughts and last but not least, we have the Warlocks. Um, I actually like the Warlocks a lot. Uh, so <laughs> let's just get right into it. I, I have a lot of things to say. Helmet is super dope. I love the helmet. Fortunately, the triangle here actually does change colors. So if you were interested, if you were like me wondering if that green in the middle changed color, it does thankfully change color. Uh, that would have been very disappointing if it didn't. But yeah, I... 
perfectly cool uh i really like the helmet the only problematic thing about this helmet would probably be the fact that it's gonna be a little hard to combine with other pieces just because it looks so thematic to uh, everything else that the hunt that the uh, that the warlock is wearing right now but other than that yeah I, I think this is not gonna be that much of an issue to combine with other things the arms is also a good thing for me because it separates the arms from the whole uh everything so what i mean by that is the actual armor right here and the forearm is completely different from like the bicep and everything else so for example if i switch this out you guys can see that even though i have a different armor set it separates itself from the everything else i like when when stuff does that because then there's no inconsistencies because a good example of a bad separator would be like something like where are you not this one kind of this one this one i think this one's a terrible separator just because if you can do a good job at like melding both of them together then yeah it actually will look cool but most times it's not like as you can see the shader doesn't go well with it if the shader combined with this color or with the colors combined together this actually would have been pretty decent but yeah this that's more of a just like a very in-depth thing i can talk about for hours like the fact that some arms do not separate that well from the from the chest piece itself speaking of chest piece i think this is a very strong chest piece for the warlocks uh so much so that i actually want to uh transmog it right now because again like i said this is actually a very strong chest piece uh there's not a lot of things that it's wrong with and it actually shaders beautifully again this one is a really good example of how to do a trench coat and i'm not even surprised because warlocks get a lot of really good trench coats this one is this one is not different this one is so good uh, this is probably going to be the chest piece that i'm going to be rocking for a little bit uh, at least for this season Ugh, it looks so good uh, for the boots boots look very basic not surprised considering that's literally like the fucking only oh my god yeah so this is like the problem with warlocks is their boots usually look pretty terrible I'll, i will say it actually looks pretty cool uh but the problem is the fact that some some chest piece just will cover the whole leg and you won't be able to see this because i think this looks really cool I think this shader definitely looks really cool with it because it gives it this really cool pattern here. Uh, so if you can find a chess piece that goes well with this, as in it's not covering the whole thing, like for example, I think this, like this for example, looks terrible because you can't even see if it's different color. That's how bad, like, again, I love the chess piece. I think the chess piece is super dope, but it's covering the whole fucking legs. And then last but not least, we have the bond, which it's okay i'm not I'm not, I'm not to be fair i'm not really the biggest fan of the bond when it comes to warlocks just because most of the time it's something like this where it's just something standing out and i'm not saying it looks terrible i just think instead of this why couldn't you just have made a bond with just this around going going around i don't know the the idea of a bond is cool. It's just that sometimes I'm just kind of like underwhelmed. I guess that would be the perfect thing. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys were, what you think warlocks. Uh, I think you guys got some good stuff here. Uh, the boots are really cool. If you have a chest piece that you will actually show them, the chest piece is super dope. I love it. The arms are really good because they actually separate from the chest piece. And then the helmet is so clean. Uh, again, the only thing that I think is like whatever is, is the bond itself, but even then like you can still find uses for it so that's pretty much it next one is gonna be well to be fair i still have to get all the armor but we're gonna do the seasonal armor or i'm gonna try to do it i should have weapons coming up this week or next week most likely this week because i'm cutting them into separate pieces and overall yeah this uh expansion has been really fun i do apologize that the videos have not been coming out as fast as they usually have it's just that i've been really busy with other projects uh if you guys don't know i'm playing <laughs> dying light 2 i'm still playing that i'm currently uh putting uh, like four videos up for that uh, elden ring which is, again i'm currently putting up three videos for that and i'm still working on final fantasy 14 it's just i have a i have a specific uh project i have in mind for that and last but not least lost arc might actually be in the channel as well nothing too crazy no tutorials or anything like that just showing you guys like where i'm at 
maybe do some fun stuff with it but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below i appreciate everyone who at least looks at my other stuff i really do appreciate that and other than that i'll see you guys later